Well, there's nothing like nearly dying for giving you a sense of purpose in life. I was in a coma for five weeks, and they eventually woke me from my coma by wheeling me out into the then only healing garden attached to an intensive care unit. And I woke up, I felt the sun on my face, I smelt the flowers, I croaked, I'm going to live. I've learned from living with wonderful people in the rainforest. Their innate wisdom and understanding and empathy with nature is something we could all learn from. It turned out there was more money to be made by bulldozing roads through the Amazon rainforest, which has been catastrophic. It's half the size it was when I first crossed it in 1958. Half the size, the biggest rainforest in the world. We have found that the one bit of the farm that I never tried to farm on because it was a rough piece of useless 80 acres of rocky woodland turns out to be one of the rarest environments on earth, northern temperate rainforest, which is incredibly rich biologically. Indigenous wisdom is now recognized as part of the debate. That's a pretty exciting thing for me, who over 50 years ago when we started Survival International, that it was regarded as a very fringe idea that indigenous people should know anything. Now they are mainstream. That was enormously exciting.